welcome back to Blossom School House. As promised, I am going to organise today the homeschool supplies and our curriculum for next year. So I've had a little order from IKEA. I've got some more of the white tubs that I've been using. So these are the white tubs. Little ones, big ones. I've got one big roll of paper for the kids to draw. And also this that holds the paper so they can just reel a bit off and rip it off and use it. And you all know how much I love my cards. I got myself another one, it's upside down, but another small one. And then over here, there's more tubs in here. <laughs> the girls are actually playing in the boxes right now. So, as I said, a lot of tubs. So I had the idea, I got these two last time I went to Ikea, and I had the idea to store pens, pencils, crayons, and things like that, because these tubs slot inside each other and stack really well. If you follow me on Instagram, sorry, the girls are playing with the boxes in the background, um, then you'll have seen that I used one of these big tubs to put all our curriculum in that we've finished with for this year. And I've even got some labels. I'm going to label curriculum 2021 and then curriculum for next year in the next tub up there. And then these are just for crayons and other school supplies. This one, it's not very deep, but it's perfect size to store paper in. So if we have some work that we're not finished with and I just need a place to store it, we can go in this one. I got these baskets as well. I got one the other day and I thought they were the perfect size to store books in. So I grabbed another one of those as well. And then on our school cart, I have these magazine filers, or I think that's what they're called. And when I saw they had wooden ones, I had to grab them. When I organise our curriculum for next year, I'm going to use those on top of our cart. And then this cart down here, I'm actually going to use for art. So I'll make that up and share how I'm going to use it for art supplies. So here are all those supplies and the tubs that I'm going to use to organise it all. Chalks and chalk stick holders can go in here. So that is one tub done. And then I thought we could have a tub for pencils, a tub for coloured pencils, we actually use a pencil pot on the table with a few pencils. So these can be our backup supply. Isn't that just so satisfying? That's a nice pot full of our favorite coloring pencils. I'm gonna have one box labeled stationery. We've already started using our stickers. The girls saw their little sticker charts and got so excited. So we've started with them already. I'm keeping them in our morning basket with a roll of stickers. So this is the other roll. I almost forgot I got one of these as well. I think it's like a pound in Ikea. So one of them right now is going to be used for those extra works books. They are a bit flimsy. Little sneak peek for you. I have popped some of next year's curriculum in one of the bigger tubs now. I will be doing a full video on our curriculum choices for the year 21-22, so stay tuned for that. Can't forget my wonderful labels. I've decided actually to keep spare writing pencils in with the chalk and chalk stick holders because it just felt like a bit of a waste just having some pencils in there. So I'm going to use this other one for more stationary bits. And now it is time to put together our art cart and organise our art supplies. Right, I've gathered most of our art supplies. I've got our paper, plain paper, watercolour paper, which I need to get more of actually, and all of our cardstock. I've got our watercolour paints and paintbrushes. We've got a little paint art caddy thing going on over there and some jars. I'm thinking paper will work well at the bottom. Tray, 
they get slowly smaller. So that is literally the perfect size for the paper. And then I'm gonna probably put this caddy at the top. See if it fits that way. It does, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna have a little play around and then I'll show you guys when I'm done. Okay, I think I'm happy with it. So we have a nice fully stocked art cart at the top. I love the fact that it's on wheels, so we can just wheel it out every time we want to do art. We've got a brown paper roll. The big IKEA one is going to go on that rack. It's quite big, so that wouldn't fit on here. We've got all of our glitters in the bottom of here. Glue, paintbrushes, more glue, and then paint stamps and sponges. We've got our paint mixing tray and then our watercolour paints at the back here. There's just a spare paint here that didn't fit on this middle tray, which has all of our acrylic paint. Got some in jars here and then the ones that didn't fit in there are just in their own little jar there. These are for water, for mixing watercolour paint and just for cleaning paintbrushes. And then down here we have watercolour paper normal paper and then a whole ton of cardstock so i'm very happy with our art cart i've also added on these art scrapbooks that were in my homeschool group supply hall and also our watercolor pencils mm -hmm.